Hey guys, uh, so I just wanted to show you the latest end phase battery I installed. Um, these things are really cool. They come with a whole house transfer switch, uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries, a bunch of microinverters. So if one fails, you don't have the whole thing go down. And uh, yeah, so let me take you through it here. All right, so I'm just working on getting this thing up and running right now here. Um, these are the batteries without the covers on them. So this is uh, two end charge tens. Uh, so 20 kilowatt hours, just over 20 kilowatt hours. Um, we have the smart switch over here, right there. We have the, uh, this is the solar combiner. We had an existing uh, end phase array here and we added to it. So we're tying those two together just in a regular load center. And then we have the, the output um, load center there uh, that then feeds the house. Uh, it's just a small 100 amp service here. Um, and then the Envoy. All right, there it is with the covers on. Pretty sleek looking battery. Uh, this is, uh, so it's 20 kilowatt hours of storage. Uh, I believe it's 7.6 kW of inverters. Um, so that's what you can pull continuously. And then there's a bigger surge on that. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but it's, it's more than that. Um, yeah, so there it is. So this was a pretty cool system. This house was originally off-grid. I'll show you some pictures of the, uh, the original system that was here. Um, but these are, uh, these are 210 watt Sanyo panels. Um, these were connected to charge controllers and then going to a uh, Schneider Xantrex uh, inverter system that was then selling back to the grid. So kind of inefficiently done. Um, and so what we did is we took these all off and we added uh, end phase microinverters. We had to add M250s um, because of the original 250s, which I'll show you next here. So this grid tied system was added some number of years ago, probably five or six years ago. Um, this is on the east facing roof, but this is 34 uh, 300 watt panels with M250 microinverters. Um, and so we had to add M250s uh, to match what was on here uh, in order to uh, do an ensemble system. You can't mix and match IQs and M-series inverters um, when doing an ensemble. The old system did include uh, these stick-on panels. These are thin film uh, panels that stick on to the standing seam roof uh, in between the seams. Um, and these were also hooked up to charge controllers. Um, I really don't know what they were producing, um, but they're, they're terribly inefficient. Uh, the efficiency is just, just junk. Uh, and it goes down, you know, after the first year. Um, so we ended up just retiring these panels. Uh, he may hook something up to them, a uh, fan or lights or, or something, but, um, you know, it really wasn't worth even trying to hook up microinverters to them. Uh, it wasn't worth spending the time and effort and, you know, money to do that. So, um, yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I've been super busy lately. So, you know, having trouble getting these videos out, but uh, trying to do it whenever possible. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe, thumbs up, and see you later.